Hey guys, greetings from the countryside where I am spending the weekend of the 4th of July. But today, because, well, it's the 4th of July, I'm going to head into the city, show you guys a few things, and then I'll probably come back out here and have a barbecue cookout with my kids. Hey guys, welcome to Constitution Avenue downtown. It's pretty empty of cars. I've got the snow plows out and the flag on the fire trucks. Let's go walk over to the archive. Hey, the Budweiser Clydesdales have arrived. You know it's a big event if the Budweiser Clydesdales are here. Let's go take a look at the horses. from in front of the Budweiser Clydesdales by the National Archives where we're gonna go see the Declaration of Independence ceremony. They do this every every year on the 4th of July and I will show you what it looks like. It's pretty cool. ...to the promise of America. And I ask that you remember the words of one of my friends. on this very special 4th of July and government from Georgetown University and a graduate degree in film from American University. Station of the colors by the Continental Color Guard from the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, followed by Mr. D.C. Washington singing our national anthem. welcoming the Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. Good morning, ladies. Traces its lineage back to George Washington's original Continental Army. 
and today serves as the Army's official escort to the President of the United States.
their operation till his assent shall be obtained. And when so suspended, he has utterly neglected to attend to them. He has refused to pass other laws the accommodation of large districts of people, unless those people would relinquish the right of representation in the legislature, a right inestimable to them and formidable to tyrants only. So the parade starts in another hour or two. And they're all setting up out here. South Vietnamese. So that was the South Vietnamese. There's the Koreans. Over here are the Sikhs. The Sikhs are marching in the parade too. anti-communist Chinese party. So guys, the trucker protest is down here on this freeway. They just drove by. Let's see if we can catch up with them, yeah? I think they got the left lane open. The cops are responding now. What it looks like behind the trucker's convoy, the 1776 Restoration Movement, as they now are known. And they're, they're just a few blocks ahead of me. I'm going to try to catch up with them. So I think they've gone slow. They're actually in front of uh, uh, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez's apartment building right now, AOC. I don't think they know that AOC lives just over there on the right. But uh, this is one of their, I think there's four groups of them moving around the DC metro area. This one is in the city. This is the one with the fire truck. They're honking their horns. swung around, I did a U-turn and came back up the other side of the freeway so you guys can see what they look like when they're blocking the road here. More police arriving on this side. Let's see if we can get over. So there they are. And traffic is backed up, well, for about a mile. Their cars were at, I think I got back on about 8th Street, 8th and I, and they're backed up here to basically South Capitol, so about eight blocks of the freeway. That's about a mile. Eagle 1 Roger proceeding as breach of the Soviet zone. Here he comes. He's that first one, right? No, I think he's the second one. They're going wide, they're not going over us.
second. Yep. Yeah, All right, here we go. Got the beast. Just like that, we're back in the country. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that. you enjoyed that Fourth of July look at Washington D.C. I'm not going to show you the fireworks from D.C. because, well, it's absolutely insane in Washington when the fireworks go off. I will show you the fireworks they shot off at the beach here last night. Um, they were kind of pretty. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. See you then. Have a happy Fourth.